the Britannia Challenge Cup, Molsey Boat Club and Angaria Hanover from Germany. So again, the Cox, is, uh, the Cox Fours uh, moving the boat nicely out of the start. Molsey on the left of our picture in the black and white, classic black oars of Molsey, looking very solid. And the Germans to the right of the screen, a very good, smooth start. There's nothing in it at this point of the race. You can see the crosswinds just picked up a little bit, those flags fluttering, and you see the ripples on the water as they come out of the side of the island, giving them a little bit um, of discomfort. Probably the boats will roll a little bit as they hit that crosswind, but they'll soon adjust as we come alongside and we look here at the Molsey crew, and the Germans are nearest us, uh, the Hanover crew rowing in there. Red and green stripes on white. The Molsey black and white on the far side. And at the, the moment, it looks a little bit black and white. Molsey seem to have the edge as we're sitting right alongside the Germans. And I understand that this is Molsey's top crew that I think that they've boated here at the regatta. So this is certainly their big hope, the Britannia Challenge Cup. And they're really sitting up, sitting back, and moving away from the crew from Hanover from Germany. Yeah, very nice start by the Molsey crew, I have to say, setting a good rhythm, and they're looking quite, you know, rowing a, a, a nice technique for a Cox 4. A little bit upright, pushing it along. You've got a bit more time in the water, and that's given them the chance to open up as we join them in the middle of the course now. Quite a lead on the Hanover crew. And, uh, of course, the coxswain of this Molsey crew is actually Rebecca Harrison, an Australian, so a member of Sydney University Boat Club, which is my club, and she... Cox, the New South Wales women's eight at the King and Queen Cups uh, interstate regatta to a historic win after 14 straight years of victory to Victoria. The Welsh women finally got the job done uh, in a very exciting race and Beck was the coxswain to lead them there. Well, you can see that she is giving them lots of information, lots of encouragement and lots of motivation. Uh, and it's a key job, isn't it, in the coxswain's seat to give the crew the focus that they need and the information that they need. And she is really giving them a lot of chat. Uh, and encouraging them uh, they're going to be thinking about whether they can complete this uh, quarterfinal get into the semi-final with efficiency they want to save themselves uh, for the final but it's a bit too early to think it's all over looking there at the stroke matt christie 25 years old uh, rode in the under 23s at 2013 in the lightweight single for canada so it's a class international act and uh, he's stroking them very nicely sitting out ahead of Angaria Hanover on the left of our picture. And Kenneth Gray and that Molsey crew uh, sitting behind Matt, Chris, Matt Christie in stroke uh, is actually racing his sixth consecutive Henley Royal Regatta, his third time racing the Britannia Challenge Cup. So absolutely a veteran of this regatta and of this event. Can they take it all the way to Sunday? Yeah, the uh, Hanover crew tell us they're so excited to be here. First time Henley rowers uh, in each case and very keen to come here and to compete and to come through to the quarterfinals here on Friday at Henley. Late evening rowing in the golden sunshine that we've had all day. Amazing conditions here. The wind is still a little bit of wind around as we saw at the start, but it's dropped down. And it's quite still conditions. You're getting that kind of beautiful golden light on the backs of these Molsey rowers and we see them really stretching out now and enjoying the chance to look back down the course and see their opposition behind them and think about rowing well, relaxing and finishing the race out strongly. Yeah, they're looking very strong, very relaxed here, aren't they? Making pretty easy work of this race now here in the Britannia Challenge Cup. Bertie Schofield in the bow seat of the Molsey crew. He had a bit of a bit of a break from rowing, but found that being in this crew and rowing with Jens Haller, uh, that he's found a love for the sport once again that's been rekindled and he's been able to focus on Henley Regatta and winning the Britannia Challenge Cup. So certainly one of the favourites, one of the contenders for the Britannia this year. It's great to see Angaria Hanover here at Henley as well. It's the first time for their club in 25 years, I think, and um, we welcome visitors from all over the world who want to have the chance to compete in this unique regatta now in its 180th year. So a big part of that tradition is really quite something. The Britannia Challenge Cup started soon after the regatta started in 1869. So we've had quite a lot of experience in this race. There's a lot of names on that trophy, and we can see 
the club from Hanover pushing on, trying to trying to do their best and leaving every what available to them out on the course, out in the water as they row down through the stewards' enclosure. Yeah, well, they haven't had too much of a challenge in this race, have they? And I think that their regattas looked much like this so far. But uh, we'll see who they will draw tomorrow for Saturday. But um, as we said, this crew looking to go all the way on Sunday in the Britannia Challenge Cup. It's the crew from Molsey Boat Club, their top hope for the regatta this year. They will be having a very tough race, so it certainly won't be like this tomorrow for Saturday. They'll be facing Sydney Rowing Club. So two of the probably the favourites for the bridge going head to head in the semi-final. Cracking racing to look forward to tomorrow. All credit to both crews here and Mold will be very happy to get through for that. And well done to Angaria Hanover from Germany and we hope that it won't be 25 years before we see you here again.